planner friends it's Nia welcome to life with Nia today I am unboxing my planner Kate Black Friday haul and I decided to do it by itself because I ordered so much stuff um, I have a second planner Kate order but it's only five sheets so it hasn't even shipped yet whenever that one comes it will just be a part of Friday Night Lights so I um, ordered a lot of A5 Daily Duo stuff, and I ordered two sticker books. Um, my other sticker books are this uh, teal color. So I ordered the navy to keep all of the A5 Daily Duo things in, um, and I actually already have a, um, I already had one and it's just empty. Um, do I need three? Probably not, but maybe. Um, I thought there's no better time than now to get like the best deal. So I actually ordered on Saturday where everything was 35% off. It progressively went up to 40% if you waited until Monday. Um, but I ordered on Saturday, so everything was 35% off, which is a really good deal. And so I went ahead and got two sticker books. So, um, while we're doing this video, I'm also going to start adding some things into the, um, Planner Kate books. I ordered, um, Daily Duo stuff from several different companies and, um, you have probably seen some of it has come in um if you watched my last friday night lights video look how thick this stack is um so i got some from nmh and i think that's the only place that i had some a5 stuff come from yeah so we're gonna add that as well I'll probably have like Planner Kate all in one book and then other companies in another. So, um, if you're not familiar, there is Planner Kate and you can get 20% off with PK Love 20. So here are the freebies. You get freebie sheets with every order. And so these are my little freebies and I will add these to my freebie sticker book okay so we got those I have to sneeze whenever I start recording I have to sneeze <clears throat> okay so I have the daily duo here as well I have the a5 daily duo and I already put my little month to glance down on January and for whatever reason like this stuff is not filling the boxes like I think it should like I want this to be to the same place that the um, days of the week goes and it doesn't and so I stuck a doll in here and I'll just live with it over here um, but let's see just a random day so I had ordered a bunch of these to cover up the calendar um, but I think it's a little bigger than I prefer. Um, but I just got all kinds of colors. And um, my preference would be to not cover up this to-do. Because I like the font. But, I mean, if push comes to shove, I can always put a sticker over it and make it work. But anyway. Um, so I got these to do, like, top three. I got two and black one in like a navy blue one in this teal this is like a purple orange um maybe this is more of a navy blue you get the point and then like a red so i got those then um i got some labels for my sticker books and I don't know if I'm actually use these or not because they really aren't labeled for what I do but I could do the daily duo one um, freebies 
I could use that one. Favorites, everything is my favorite. Quotes, scripts, and kits. The thing is, I have more than one thing in most of my books, so that is that. Okay, so I ordered some boxes for um, like the bottom section here. Um, so these are just different assorted colors in the S1788B bold. And you got a little bit of everything there. So six boxes. Then this one is Flora. So S1790. And um, this was just last chance stuff. So um, I already have some of these, but I like the neutral of the gray and black. So these are just like a Appointment labels, um, seven S seven five one, um, same thing S seven six nine in various colors, and then I got some daily duo checklist boxes, which I think I went back and ordered some more of these. Um, I believe these are specifically for the A five, so S one seven three nine A and B. One sheet is black, one sheet is gray, and these should work here. Um, yeah, so those should work perfectly there, which I love a checklist, so perfect. Okay, so this is, so th these are things that come with the kits. Okay, so we have some more boxes here. Um, S1787, these are PK colors, and S7188A, which is EC Bold colors those with the other boxes okay so with every daily duo kit and I don't know that there is one where I actually got this page as part of my kit because I just felt like it wasn't something I was going to use every week um okay I did it with this one so this is Kit MK326, and it's a lot, it's the graduation kit, which I'm not going to use these three stickers here, but I liked the basic black and white, and there's no basic black and white kit, so that was the reason I bought it, um, and then you had boxes to match, so I won't use these two, which it's not super obvious that they're graduation hats. Unless you're really, really looking at it. If I throw a quote on there, I think it would be hard to tell. But I'm definitely not going to use these washi strips. So, I got that. Then, this is the sheet that I did not do for, I don't think, any other kit. Um, this is a sheet of assorted checklist boxes, um, time block boxes. So, I think these are a two-hour block. I'll put them up there in just a second. These are a half an hour, and this is one hour. Um, I just don't block out time that frequently, like where it's every week. So yeah, this is a half an hour, this is a full hour, and then this is two hours. Um, but I thought, you know, if I needed more black and white or gray, um, a, you know, neutral monochrome would be the way to go. So I got two on this one. And, um... So that's my first A5 Daily Duo kit. And I wish she would just come out with a black and white kit. That would just be, to me, that would be fun. Um, so I got that one. And then I ordered some extra assorted colors. Um, this is a one hour time block. And it's just like all kinds of EC colors. Um, S1770B. And then S1765B is PK colors, which is planner cake colors. And I like that this one has the, the neutrals down here as well. So got that. Then let's go through these kits. So for every kit, I basically did the header sheet and the boxes. So this is kit MK332. It's like the flamingos. And these are the headers, which go up here across the top and um, then I got the sheet of boxes which go down here in the bottom and 
Um, I don't know how many of these kits I got, but we all find out today. So that's that. Then the next one is this wine kit and the coordinating boxes. And then I have this mittens kit 401. Um, cute little font and the coordinating boxes. Got this floral kit. I'm not super loving this. I like this batch of florals, but these other florals are not my favorite. But um, this is kit three, four, five. Coordinating boxes. I feel like I am ready for either Memorial Day or Fourth of July with this kit. This is kit. 333 three, three. and this is version 2 because when she originally did them when it came out she got like a demo A5 that was it ended up being changed where Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday Friday and Saturday were on the same pages and then they changed it to um, because Saturday and Sunday have their own page um, it's never going to coordinate that way so she changed it so you could pick which two if you want them to match identically. And I think, I think like, when I was looking through, like, most, out of most shops, I think Planner Kate is the only one to do that. Most of the other ones already have the day on there. And so you're just sort of stuck with what it is. Um, so I like that. Um, coordinating boxes to go with it. Then we have this M uh, Kit 329. So we've got uh, pineapples, and this reminds me of like mermaids, but if you look, it's not scales, it's pineapples and cameras and stuff in there. So just very summery and fun. I'm ready for summer to come back. Then we have a um, lavender kit. This is kit 318. I just thought that was really pretty with the purples. And matching boxes and then we did kit 312 which is the little cute cacti and coordinating boxes all right then we have I thought this one was super cute so this is a um, example kit 338 and I don't think I intended to order um, the one with the days of the week already on there. Um, so this is how it was originally set up. Um, rather than you getting to pick and choose yourself which days of the week you want on there. So um, kit 338. I may have ordered this. It may have been a last chance. Um, and then coordinating boxes. So, I thought this was really pretty, too. Just cute, fun. I'm a sucker for palm trees. Okay, so then we got some Valentine's Day-ish. So, um, kit 305, you've got your hearts and coordinating boxes for that. Red and pink. And then... I think there's one more. Okay, so this is kit 306. Also very, um, well, it was part of February's stuff for 2021. Very Valentine-ish. I love the woodsy look. Rustic Valentine look. And so matching boxes for that as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kits. And then, so that's only eleven weeks, y'all. There's 52 weeks in a year. We're gonna have to figure something out. Okay, so apparently I bought extras on some other, some certain things. So kit 332, I bought the extra box with the scripts just to change it up. Occasionally, there's a lot of todays and to dos and um, different things on here where I won't use them every day of the week. And so I figured they would stretch for 
um, a lot of different spreads. And then um, this is kit 318, which I think was part of Lavender Fields. Petey just said hi. I don't know if you heard him. Um, same thing. Just to have some variety there. Then I got um, a couple of... This was the, the thing that I kind of was unsure about, but I took a chance. I, I had asked, and I really didn't get a clear answer um, in the PK group, but I ordered um, a couple of monthly, and I think that you're supposed to do the coil for the A5 Daily Duo. It just says ECA5, it's, but there's lots of A5, so like, does it fit the Daily Duo? It's just nothing says clearly yes. Um, I have the dryer going, and of course he goes in the laundry room. I cannot. <laughs> um, so, um, it looks good. Looks like it fits good. So, um, I got the lavender for April. We've got um, the sidebar here. That looks good. And, um, got your holidays and numbers on there. So that's nice. And then I also got the, um, dashboard. Which, let's see. So that's for this side. And you get the option of doing the habit tracker or the line, which I prefer the line. And then you've got your month sticker. Um... These never like look like what I want them to look like, but I'm gonna work it out. So I got that for April. I also got one for February in this woodsy kit, kit 306, and the dashboard kit as well. And then I got the flora for March. And to be quite honest with you, I don't remember what I got from M and H, N M H. Um, I know I bought a lot of um, seven by nine, but maybe I didn't buy any monthlies. I bought monthlies from somewhere else and I was trying to remember like who did I get XYZ month from already because I didn't want to duplicate the month and I couldn't remember. I was, at one point I was in the car placing orders. I was just doing the most. Um, so maybe I didn't. Oh, here's one. It's seven by nine. So maybe I didn't get any from NMH. Okay, so the way that I want to do this is um, in this one, uh, I've already put January in the planner. So we're going to start with the February kit, um, and I'm going to keep it, the dashboard together with it in here. I'm not going to keep you too long, but I want to show you how I'm going to organize it. So February, and then we will do March and April, and oops. going to do is skip and leave room for um, May and June. I don't think I went out any further than that. And then I'm just going to do, I want to like coordinate by um, season. So like the flamingos are summer. The wine really could be any time. So I'm going to set that aside for now. These mittens would be good for like right now for winter. So we're going to put that here. The flowers I feel like are spring. The um, 4th of July, summer, lavender, kind of a spring. The cacti is spring, 
the sunglasses are summer. I don't have a lot for winter. So we'll do um, we'll do these uh, February-esque kits next. I think I'm going to sit down and see if I can create a daily duo kit. Don't hold me to that. But boy would it save me some coins if I can make my own. Okay, so... I'm going to put the wine and the black and white kind of in here in the middle of spring and summer. And then... that fit? Oh, yeah, it does fit. Looks like she had done that one in a different size. Oh, I do have a sort of winter kit from um, NMH, so I'll probably use that at the beginning of January. Okay, so that's um... That's how I've got that organized. And I don't know if I ordered a May and June, but I, I want to just leave room for some monthlies up front. And then I still have plenty of room for some additional planner cake kits, although I don't think I have any more coming. So what I'm going to do is um, work backwards, and I'm going to add these other sheets to the back. Um, I'm going to do the checklist in the very back just because um, as the last page it, it would be easy to find and I'm probably going to use these just about every week um, and then I'm going to do so this is part of the black and white kit so I'm actually going to add that in here Then I'm going to do the boxes. So we've got um, 17, 87, and then 88 A and B. Flora. So all those extra boxes are back there grouped together. And then um, not everything I got was, was for the Daily Duo. These are for the Daily Duo and so are these. So I'm going to put these two sheets in my other Planner Kate book. Um, but these are for those time blocks. So I'm going to add these in. And then I'm going to add in these like little boxes that I intend to use. And that is how I'm setting up my Planner Kate A5 sticker book. And as I, um, you know, should I order any more Planner Kate kits, which... Um, I really shouldn't order any more stickers, period, right now. But should I order any more Planner Cake Daily Duo kits? They will be added in here. I really only covered the first half of the year <laughs> in my <laughs> multiple orders, I guess. Um, there was a little bit of a method to my madness. Um, so at some point, I will go back and get some more. Hopefully, I can catch a flash sale or something like that. But that is how I'm, I'm organizing that. Now, oop, I got a couple of extra things here. So this is kit 318 and 332. Okay, 
so we will add that here and this one here. Okay, and then um, so it's like I I didn't feel like I needed to have boxes on every day, but I don't know. We'll see as we get into planning this. So that um. Is what I'm going to do with that, and then I am going to add these other kits, which really, you know, hmm, I was going to say that really, I feel like it's kind of big for the sticker book is kind of big for the kit, but this is like another winter kit from NMH. I'm going to um, go ahead and add this to the Planner Kate sticker book because I do want to use these sticker books for my A5 Daily Duo kits. So there's that kit and, um, and then there is this sunflower kit and... Um, those are the only two kits from other, from another sticker company that I have received so far for the Daily Duo. So, that is that. That is how we are organizing our stickers for the Daily Duo and, um, getting set and ready to go for all things 2022. Let me know your thoughts. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Bye.